Hey, how you guys doing? I'm back to let you guys know about WinDS Pro version 2.0.8, one of the newer versions of WinDS Pro DSi that allow you to install in English, finally after so long, so very, very long. Um, let me go ahead and show you guys the download page. Okay, just throwing this out there right now. The brand new version, at the time I'm recording this, 2.2.0, uh, does give you the option to install in English but it does force translate some of the ROMs still and some of the menus are still in Spanish so if you don't want to run that chance go ahead and click on this first one to install the English version or to download the English version scroll down click the download and then of course you know it you know since they're so biased against us English speakers um, I'm Mexican I really shouldn't say that anyways um, they only give you one link and it's to rapid share and if you're like me you hate rapid share just because of that stupid counter and then the download speed is only like 15 kilobytes per second and it's like good god could you give me a slower download no I'm just kidding anyways um, so just like in my other video for version 14 I'm gonna throw up three links in the sidebar uh, Mediafire, A Drive, and FileQuib I'll host the installer on there you can go ahead and install it you can go ahead and download it from there if you want a faster download just throwing that out there for you guys okay anyways as soon as you guys downloaded it um, you are going to get these uh, .rar file uh, something else if you can't unpack .rar um, download either 7-zip pzip uh, p is in the vegetable pea or uh, winrar um, any one of those will unpack rar files for you anyways when you download it uh, you'll get this it's just shy of about 10 megabytes unpack it you get the .exe go ahead and double click that see the installer yada yada and then you see it right here WinDS Pro DSi 2.0.8 English with two, with no cache EVA 2.6 anyways you guys can read this it's uh, some updates on the emulators um, uh, what's really cool is that they added the uh, DSMU emulator in here I personally don't use it but they added it for the people that do popularity I guess. Go ahead and let it install in its uh, default directory which is going to be in your program files and in a folder called WinDS Pro. Click next. Uh, uh, shortcut folder for the start menu. Confirm the information. Click next and it should download. I'm going to stop right here because I already have it downloaded. And you guys should see the icon on your desktop. After it installs, just like the last one, it's going to open up the home page. Don't worry about that. Close the home page. Close your browser entirely. Okay. Don't worry about it opening the home page. It will put an icon on your desktop. And if it doesn't, I am. I haven't found a solution for that. I've tried working it out with so many other people. Um, about ten guys on YouTube. We've all tried to figure out why it does it, and we just can't come up with a solution. If one of you out there has figured out the problem as to why the icon doesn't appear on your desktop after installation, um, give me a video response or write a comment. Let us know. Anyways, once you see the icon, go ahead and fire it up. And here's the menu. Okay, the plus sign up in the right hand corner drops down the menu, just like last time. N1 through N6, these are all the skins for um, no cache GBA skin, um, which makes it look you know, like an actual Nintendo DS. Um, all these numbers down here will cycle through all of the wallpapers. Now, I'll show you guys right now um, how to change those wallpapers. Um, what you're going to want to do first is go ahead and close that. Go into your program files and go into the um, WinDS Pro folder. Just to show you guys the directory, here it is. WinDS Pro and Program Files. Anyway, so you're going to see a folder called Autoplay. Go into that. Then you're going to see another one named Images. Go into that. And then from here, you should see all the wallpapers. They have numbers on them. Do not worry about these ones and do not alter these ones. There are a few other ones here. Anyways, um, I already have a few here. Let's see. Okay. And what you're going to want to do, if you want to make your own custom ones, you have to make them by the dimensions 630 by 386, and they have to be JPEG. 
if it's not exactly those dimensions, I'm not sure what will happen, other than it's probably not going to work, and it needs to be in JPEG. From here, what you're going to do is you want to either delete it, or you can just copy it straight in here and let it delete it. Either way, the original needs to be deleted. So let's delete number one. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Let's go ahead and copy number one. That start up Windows Pro again. Drop down the menu, roll over number one, and there's our custom background. Easy as that. Now, um, let's go ahead and show you some of the gameplay. I'm going to do um, Pokemon Platinum just because I recently found out that there's a fully English version, not translated or anything. Anyways, some of you guys are going to get this. I've never gotten this, but I remember in one of the past comments by a YouTube user's name, which is has just left me, but thank you, guy. Um, go to file. No, sorry. You. My gosh. Anyways, emulation setup. Go into there. You're going to want to come down to NDS Cartridge Backup Media. Drop down the menu. Click on 512 kilobytes flash. Click OK. Then again, this is only if you see this screen and it, you know, can't. Yeah. Go to File, Reset Cartridge, and there you go. It works fine. Now, before you guys slam me on my video and tell me, well, dude, it's not working. It's running too slow. Or, you know, any one of those things, okay? I want to let you guys know right now a few things that you're going to need to know in order to see if, you know, Windows Pro is going to work for you. The first thing, your video card. 90% of the time, you're not going to need to update it, but in some cases, you're going to need to. I haven't heard of a case where you needed to do that, but I updated mine just in case. Anyways, um, RAM is the next thing. I only have about a gig of RAM on my laptop, and as you can see, it's running fine. Um, I have run DS, ugh, I have run WinDS Pro on a uh, 512 laptop before, and it ran fairly good. I had to update the DirectX driver, which is the next thing. Um, if your game's running slow, um, like on this part, it'd be, it'd be running like super slow, or like super fast, or the sound's all messed up, or whatever, you're going to need to update your DirectX driver. Google it, make sure that you download it from Microsoft.com. Anywhere else, it's probably a virus or something. If, if it's a trusted site, I guess go ahead. But try to make sure that you get it from Microsoft.com. After you get that, you should be good to go. Um, and again, just throwing it out there, WinDS Pro does not work for everybody. Um, make sure you do one of those three things. Um, if you need more RAM, I I guess buy more RAM if Windows Pro is that important to you. But in most cases, what you're going to need to do and will fix most of the problems is updating your DirectX driver. Do that and you should be okay. And so that is Windows Pro DSi version 2.0.8. One of the newer versions of Windows Pro that finally allows you to install in English. I hope you enjoy.